marks 15 years since the September 11 attacks on the World Trade Centers. There are many events happening across the Low Country in remembrance of that day. One of those events is being hosted at Patriots Point. News 2's Colby Thielen is there with more on how you can be involved on this in the ceremony. Good morning, Colby. Hey, good morning, Octavia. Well, for anybody who is hoping to spend some time reflecting this weekend or also remembering those who are lost, well, you can do that right here at Patriots Point. I'm going to tell you all the ways you can get involved here in just a second. But first, I want to introduce the man that's standing right beside me. He is a uh, retired detective with North Charleston. He's also a former NYPD officer and a first responder on 9-11. I'm talking about Mike Rooney. Good morning, good sir. Morning. So, so you were on your way to work uh, on that morning of September 11th. Uh, can you describe for us what it was like when you heard that call? Well, on the way to work in the morning, uh, over the reports over the radio was a plane crashed into the, one of the towers. And my immediate thought was it might have been a sightseeing plane because they do fly up and down the rivers. And then on the way in, I could see, when I was going down the parkway, I could see one of the towers and it looked too much damage to the tower. So when we got into the office in Queens, we were getting ready to go in, the second plane hit, and then we knew something was really wrong. What was going through your mind when, when you heard all these reports coming on the radio? Uh, the people that were injured, the people being stuck inside the towers, uh, rescue, going there to help, see what we could do. And, and a lot of people that, that responded to that call that went into the tower were people that you knew and people that you were close to as well. Yeah, there's people that I used to work with, one of my old partners, uh, Ronnie Klopfer, he died in the towers. Uh, I was in emergency service prior to becoming a detective, and a lot of the people that I work with died in those towers. We really appreciate all that you do, and we're going to continue to talk with uh, with Mike Rooney coming up at 5:30. And you know, for anybody that's wanting to pay their respects this weekend, uh, here's how you can do it: you can come right here at Patriots Point on Sunday. All first responders will receive free admission for themselves and for their families. And the museum opens up here at 9 a.m. That'll remain open until 6:30. Now there will also be flowers available to toss into the Charleston Harbor uh, in honor of the more than 3,000 people that were killed uh, 15 years ago. And you know, Patriots Point will also provide a remembrance board and that'll be for anybody who wants to share a story or possibly even write a message to a loved one and all of that's happening on Sunday and it starts right here at 9 a.m. At Patriots Point, Colby Thielen, News 2.